Welcome to the Success Mindset Podcast, where we empower you to unlock your full potential and achieve greatness. Join us as we explore the transformative power of your mindset and uncover the strategies that will help you conquer your goals and create the life that you've always dreamed of. So buckle up, get inspired, and let's dive into today's episode. Welcome to your weekly spark of inspiration right here on the Success Mindset Podcast. Today we have a topic that's going to be both fascinating and uplifting, the science of happiness and the understanding of positive psychology. Positive psychology is an amazing area of study. It's about uncovering what makes us happy and satisfied and full of life. Unlike traditional psychology, which often focuses on fixing what's wrong, positive psychology is about boosting what's right. So what's the secret recipe for happiness? Well, it's not as mysterious as you might think. You know, research shows that about half of our happiness is decided by our genes. But that leaves a whole half that's up to us. And that's where positive psychology comes in. Positive psychology tells us that happiness isn't just about feeling sad, it's about feeling good and feeling involved and feeling like our lives have purpose. So let's break it down. We got three ingredients here, pleasure, engagement, and meaning. Pleasure is the fun stuff, the joy that we get from our senses. Engagement is being totally into what we're doing and losing track of time because we're so absorbed. And meaning, that's the sense that we're part of something bigger, something that really matters. So how can we add more of these ingredients into our lives? Here are three proven ways. Gratitude is our first powerful tool. It's about more than just saying thank you. It's about truly recognizing and appreciating the good things that we encounter each day. Be it a kind word from a colleague, a beautiful sunset, you know, a meal prepared with love. In positive psychology, we often suggest keeping a gratitude journal. You know, it's simply uh, an easy but practical practice, you know, where you can actually write down three things that you're grateful for each day. And this consistent acknowledgement can shift our mindset to notice positivity more frequently and reduce focus on negativity, which is really the goal. So over time, you're going to find your perception becoming more optimistic and your levels of happiness rising. Our second strategy is mindfulness, and this is a form of meditation where you focus on being intensely aware of what you're sensing and feeling in the moment, you know, without interpretation or judgment. Mindfulness can be practiced in a lot of ways. You know, you can start by simply taking a few minutes each day to focus on your breath. Uh, It's about being present and engaged in whatever you're doing. In a conversation, be fully there, you know, listening actively. Uh, Eating a meal, savor each bite, each flavor. This strategy is about reducing stress, improving focus, and enhancing the enjoyment of daily life. And as you become more mindful, you're going to notice uh, an improved state of well-being and an increased sense of calm and happiness. And lastly, fostering social connections. As humans, we're inherently social creatures. You know, positive and meaningful relationships significantly contribute to our sense of happiness. And so this isn't just about the quantity of uh, social interactions, but the quality as well. It's about creating deeper connections, you know, being empathetic and supportive. It could be as simple as having a heart-to-heart chat with a friend or a, a family meal without distractions or lending a helping hand to a neighbor. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity to build a strong relationship and as you nourish your social bonds you're gonna find that they become a source of joy and comfort and happiness for you so there you have it the three powerful strategies from positive psychology for boosting your happiness gratitude mindfulness and nurturing social connections incorporate these into your daily routine and you're gonna be on your way to a more happy and fulfilled life positive psychology isn't about avoiding life's problems but it, it can actually help us to handle those problems with a better attitude it's the way to make ourselves happier, and that happiness is within our control. Remember, true success isn't just about checking things off the list. It's also about feeling happy and fulfilled and full of life. You know, and we can actually make that happen. So let's focus on the good. You know, say thanks, live in the moment, and nurture our relationships. Because as the science shows, these things really do matter. So now that we've explored these three strategies, practicing gratitude, living mindfully, and fostering social connections, it's time for a call to action. You know, it's your turn to put these into practice in your own life. 
Start today by opening a a gratitude journal. You know, find a notebook, a piece of paper, or even a note on your phone and jot down three things that you're thankful for. And repeat this every day for a week and see how it shifts your perspective. Secondly, dedicate five minutes each day to mindfulness. You know, it could be the first thing in the morning or during a lunch break, but sit comfortably, close your eyes and focus on your breath. The sensations around you, you know, let the thoughts come in and go without judgment. And finally, make a deliberate effort to connect more deeply with somebody that is in your life. You know, reach out to a friend that you've lost touch with, have a meaningful conversation with a loved one, or simply just share a smile with a stranger. These small steps can create significant changes over time, and I challenge you to try these strategies for the next week and observe the difference in your state of mind and your happiness level. And remember, you know, we're in this journey together. I want to hear about your experiences and your victories and your struggles and your progress. And so share your stories and your steps towards a happier life with me at the Coaching For Me and use the hashtag, the success mindset on social media. You know, you have the power to control your happiness. So start today, start now. You know, your journey to a happier, more fulfilled life begins with these first steps. And so here's to your success and to your happiness. And that brings us to the end of this episode. You know, thank you for sharing this journey into the world of positive psychology and the science of happiness. Your pursuit of a better, happier you is truly commendable. And so remember, the power to elevate your happiness is in your hands. So begin with gratitude, adopt mindfulness, and nurture your relationships. Small steps can lead to significant transformations. Now don't forget to join us next week. We'll be diving into another fantastic topic, emotional intelligence, harnessing emotions for personal growth. It's an essential piece of the puzzle that forms the success mindset, and you're not going to want to miss it. Until then, continue practicing these strategies, take charge of your happiness, and stay motivated. Your journey is inspiring, and I'm privileged to be a part of it. Thank you for joining us on another enlightening episode of the Success Mindset Podcast. Remember, you have the power to shape your destiny and create the life that you desire. If you're ready to take action, subscribe to the podcast and never miss an episode. Share it with your friends and your family and help us build a community of like-minded individuals striving for success. Until next time, stay motivated, keep learning, and let's continue to achieve greatness together.